Hey everybody, it's Amy with Stampin' with a Heart. I am working on my Ulta New Level 1 Challenge and I'm going to show you how to get a, this is my sample piece, to get this stenciled background here. It's beautiful. I love it and I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off this because I've done it a couple of times on this one. I'm going to clean this one off so that I'm just using a damp towel because I've got a lot of ink on here. And it's going to be the same color ink, so it doesn't really matter. But we're going to take our cardstock and we're going to make sure that this is adhered to the cardstock. I actually like to put a little tape on the back of it so it stays like this. And I'm using frog tape or whatever you want to call it, um, it's painter's tape. Now I've got that so it stays in place. Now I'm going to layer this um, polka dots that I have. It's just a random one. This one is the Leaf Bed uh, stencil from Ulta New, and I'm going to lay this on top of it. And I'm going to take this down so it does not move as well. Now it's okay if I don't get the edges very well because I am going to trim this out and we're going to use a smaller size than the A2 you know you gotta have some little trim so I'm just gonna take this down really well I don't want it to shift at all and then we'll move it in a second so I want my polka dots to be this bright peacock feathers color so I'm just using my little blending brush here and I'm gonna literally come in here and I'm gonna blend out us some peacock feathers and it my brush is a little damp so that's not recommended or recommend you use a nice dry brush because you can see it's kind of beating up a little bit but that's all right it will dry quickly and it is oxide ink so it gives it a cool effect if it is wet now we're going to pull this off and we're just going to put it to the side so that we can actually go ahead and do our leaves i am going to take a piece of this tape and tape it back down on the top because i don't want it to shift on me at all and remember it's okay if you have it on the top because we're going to trim this and it always looks kind of cool if you have some splatters of white area. It's fine. So now I'm going to use these two colors. I'm going to go with the shabby shutters today for this background because I want the background with the leaves to be nice and light, but I want this um, peacock feathers color to come through. So I'm just getting some of my color, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to blend this in. You can go light. You can go heavy. Whatever makes you happy. But you see those polka dots are still staying strong. And it is nice if you don't have the color of paper that you're working with, ink. You can just put these blenders in this ink. You can just make your own color of paper. It's awesome. I love it. All right. So there we go. This is one of those things that I kind of learned playing with my stencils and going to my Ulta New Level 1 classes. If you haven't done them, it is an awesome deal, and you will learn a lot. So now I'm going to pull these off. And we're going to see some beautiful, beautiful stenciled paper as soon as I can get this off. There we go. Move it to the side. Take off the back pieces of tape. Because, you know, we are going to trim this down. And I'm going to have some flowers on it. And you'll see it in my card. But there's the background. Isn't that gorgeous? Looks like we've got some white leaves hanging out over all of this beautiful polka dotted, lovely stenciled paper and it looks so full of depth i love it if you haven't done any of the Alton new classes i definitely suggest you take a chance and check them out bye y'all